Virgo, Elsie here to do your reading for the week ahead. Virgo, how are you? Thank you so much for clicking here. My Earth Cousins, I hope you're well. Thanks for clicking here. Um, Virgo, um, I'm looking at a couple of decks today. We're going to use the Kipper, we're going to use the Lenormand, and then we're going to throw some tarot at it. If you are a brand new Virgo and you've never sh you've never been here before, welcome, welcome. If you would like to join this very quickly growing Virgo tribe, please click that um, button in the bottom right hand corner there, that subscription button. And I would love to hear from you in the comments. We like to be there sometimes. Let's find out what's going on for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. If you're cross-watching, welcome to you. Let's find out what's going on for Virgo. We need three cards, Virgo. There's two. One more. There we go. All right. We've got Concern. We've got Main Female. And we have poverty. Well, that sort of tells a story, doesn't it? It's at the bottom of the deck. Expectation. I feel like there is um, somebody who has the body of a female. Could be a woman, right? Um, I'm not here reading body parts. I'm here reading energy. So we don't know if the main female has feminine or masculine energy. It does feel like the, the main female might have a concern about financial things. Is what it looks like here about poverty trying to find financial balance i'm going to say help is on the way i'm looking at three threes we got one three here and then we got two threes up here i'm going to say help is on the way that a new be new beginning here is close some sort of resolution is coming Give me more please Mount virgo All right, I've got uh, the, the swans. I've got the ring. And we've got the star. So I feel like there is somebody here who has a concern. We have a a feminine body and a masculine body. So take it as it resonates for you. Feminine and masculine are both accounted for. It feels like somebody here has a concern about the main female. It feels like there is somebody here who is very interested in the other. The concern, I feel, is coming from the masculine to the feminine. The feminine has been waiting for a commitment, waiting for a ring, waiting for a commitment, because I feel like these two are already in some sort of a physical connection. It feels like it's it started out in fire. We've got the Ace of Clubs, which is the Ace of Wands, and there is romance beginning to build here. We've got the Knight of Cups. We've got the Jack of Hearts, right? The, um, the Swans do mate for life. I feel like this person is really serious about this person. And it feels like um, it feels like there is a concern, and I feel like the concern might have to do with money or a mindset, because poverty can be an economical shit show, right? It can be there's so many hardships that are happening economically for so many people around the world. It could be that, but poverty is also a mindset. So, you know, some people are born into poverty and they continue the cycle to the next generation, and the next generation continues the cycle, and it. You know, it just takes one person to stop it and and um, decide that I'm no longer going to raise my family in poverty. It feels like somebody here has hit a pretty hard tower and is trying to heal from some sort of a situation. It feels like with the six of cups in the bottom right hand corner, the six of hearts, that it could be... Um, this has been a generational thing, right? Because the Six of Cups is like, um, um, it's nostalgia. It's been going on for a very long time. That we, we're dealing with towers. It does feel like here that there is two people who want to who want to get together and be together like in a serious way because the ring is here and it's engagement or this person's very engaging. I feel like there is um, a connection here that is becoming very serious but this the concern of the masculine or the feminine like maybe the concern is with the masculine about the feminine or the feminine has a concern about the masculine but the concern is poverty so it feels like somebody here does not come from money where there's economic differences between us possibly 
it could also be, like I said, a mindset. Yeah, this person has a concern about the one they love. There's orchids here on the table. This person's about to have some sort of a breakthrough, though, because the sun is shining on them. Bottom of the deck. Oh, look, we have orchids. I just said that, right? They're orchids. Orchids are here and orchids show up. So this is a really deep sort of abiding love. It's a very respectful love. The King of Swords is on the bottom right-hand corner. It could possibly be that we haven't spoken about partnership yet. The three is here. 30 breaks down to a three. It feels like there is an expectation on the part of one of these people that there is going to be marriage or the next step is because we're in the lover's energy that the next step is naturally marriage or the expectation is I'm just going to say be careful of your expectations because you're letting yourself down if you expect things and they don't come to fruition then you feel let down but understand it was your expectation that let the situation down like you had an expectation and you're like oh yeah it's going in this direction and then it feels like it didn't go in that direction and somebody here is not feeling very good about it So 2 and 8 is 10. It could be the end of a cycle. Is this over? Or is it not? Because it feels like economic differences could be coming into play here. Let's take a look at some tarot. Tell me about Virgo, please. So one of these people has an expectation that this is going to end up in marriage or in um, engagement. Could be that one person has an expectation, but the other one is unsure. Tell me more about Virgo, please. We have the High Priestess. We have the King of Cups. Somebody's trying to figure it out. What do I really want? Ten of Swords is here. We have the Seven of Pentacles, which is in the reverse. We have the Six of Swords, and we have the Death card. It does feel like somebody here is trying to listen to their intuitive energy. It feels like someone has been really silent about how deeply they feel about the situation. Somebody's not really expressing it trying to figure it out, trying to get more information about it, trying to listen to my intuitive energy. Should I go ahead with this or should we just release it? It feels like this is a problem. I just want to clarify this just a little bit. Because to me, the card number 16 is the star. And it's like somebody is the star of the show. It's kind of that kind of star. So it's like somebody who can be seen by the heavens, right? By the satellites. I can see like this person is like I feel like the main female. Uh, you know, I'm just going to ask. Are we talking about what are we talking about here with the main female and the um the person who has the concern. Tell me what's going on here. These two are in love. Tell me about poverty, please. Somebody's having a realization that the person that they're in love with is somebody who is like, like there could be an ec economic shit show that's going on. This person could be very much very in debt or there's um, a lot of heaviness that comes with um, the way this person was raised, or they have a poverty mindset. Um, tell me more. We have the King of Pentacles. We have the Page of Swords, sorry, Page of Wands, and we have the Ten of Cups. So it does seem like that. It seems like in the family, we never really were talking about money. It's almost like we were, we were a happy family, but we never really spoke about money. It almost seems like somebody here, it feels like, 
there is somebody who is a masculine, who is interested in a feminine, who's very much in love with this person. The expectation of both of them is that we are going to get engaged. There is love here, and I feel like this, this started out in fire or passion. It does feel like with this King of Cups here, somebody's ready to settle down, but we need to talk about what we're going to do. How are we going to find our happiness? Are we just going to be naturally happy? Do we have children? It's all those fundamental difference things, right? So, and I think one of those things is about, I feel like um, it's probably the main female who has been the person who was either raised in poverty or that their economic situation isn't very good. There's a whole lot of debt possibly that the King of Pentacles may have to take on. Tell me more about this. We have the Five of Cups. Is this going to fall into lack? Will I be regret? Will I regret not ending this right now? Is anything going to grow here? The Six of Swords and the Death card tells me that somebody is leaving the chaos and moving to the calm because they've transformed. Okay, well that makes more sense. It just feels like, it feels like somebody, it feels like the, the masculine wants to marry the feminine, um, the man wants to marry the woman, it looks like, and the expectation of the woman and the man is that the next natural step is that we do get engaged. But it does feel like here that if this, if this is somebody who's grown up in poverty, it's like this female, this main female is not used to um, luxury. I want to say they look pretty well dressed but it feels like this person's not used to luxury and there's an economic difference between the two although they are really in love somebody here is ready to settle down but it feels like it feels like with the six of swords and the death card that we are leaving the chaos going to the calm and there is going to be um, a transformation possibly in pentacles that it had an impact I feel like somebody's about I feel like you're you're probably someone who is already in some sort of a a relationship with somebody or you're thinking about this person really does match all of the things that I want like the stars are aligning and I, it feels like this person does match everything that I want but we're gonna have to look at the financial situation first before we even move ahead because one affects the other but I feel like the lover showing up here is like this is a match it's a really respectful beautiful love where we have a lot of communication about how we feel about each other but something's got to, something is going to change really quickly or has got to change really quickly here with the whip and the broom showing up. We have the seven of swords. You need to be really honest with me about the situation that you come from. Tell me about the five of cups. Tell me why someone thinks they may be in regret. Because I think right now somebody's keeping it under the surface because we do have silence and so we have the king of cups here who is somebody who doesn't really reveal everything right away, but somebody who's really deeply invested in a situation romantically here, um, emotionally. Tell me about the Five of Cups. So we do have the Queen, Queen of Cups, which tells me, you know, we, we both understand that we are very much in love with each other. We are soulmates, in fact. We do connect to each other in a very, in a very deep sort of psychic kind of energy. We, we have uh, Scorpio Pisces Cancer here. We also have a bunch of Pisces, Pisces and Pisces, um, Cancer and Scorpio. It feels like it's... Um, we do have the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, it's like a really good, like we have a good communication. It feels like it's, it's we have really deep love. We have this great connection with each other. But is this what I want to do? Because if I do this, am I going to regret it? Is it going to come to an end? Is it going to come to a painful end? But I don't really want to wait anymore. Should we get married before the financial stuff is is uh, ironed out? Or should we... Or should we carry on? We've got the Seven of Swords, and the Seven of Swords is about concealment, right? Concealment, maybe maybe this person's not being honest with me about the debt that they have. Um, it feels like this person, um, the, the feminine, I feel, has moved away from some sort of chaotic situation. Could be divorce, could be the way that they were raised. Um, tell me about the Seven of Swords. Something is changing or ending here. We have the... Um, the Page of Cups in the reverse. We have the Two of Pentacles. And we have the Hermit. Okay. I feel like 
this this energy of the page of cups in the reverse tells me that somebody maybe has some unrealistic views about the decisions that we've got to make in order to move forward. It feels like somebody here is younger than the other person, quite a bit younger. We have somebody with white hair and somebody who doesn't have white hair. So it could be there's a very big age difference or an age gap here. It's time to address a situation here about, um, about the differences that we have, whether it's an age difference, an age gap, or whether it's money, whether it's, you know, I, you know, this person comes from a really good family, this person comes from poverty. It feels like we have two people from separate worlds, and the hermit energy tells me that we need to make decisions based on our wisdom, based on what we know. Um, and the Seven of Swords is like, we need to be super honest with each other. We need to make the decision to be wise about being honest with each other because it concerns me that the Page of Cups is in the reverse. Tell me what the outcome is here. We've got the Seven of Wands. We've got the Four of Swords. And the Queen of Swords. So somebody's really standing back, taking stock. I know that I'm at the crossroads here, but I'm feeling like I should pull back my energy or hold on for a moment or not make a decision. Maybe we maybe we have too many differences in order for us to pull this off. We have four and one is five in the hand of the queen. It feels like somebody is about to get a really honest conversation. We need to talk about exactly what's going on here because there's a very deep connection here. The next step is marriage and everything must come to the surface. Uh, it feels like everything must come to the surface. We must have conversation about it. We have to talk about your childhood and how that went down. Who, What family am I marrying into? I know that we love each other and we're ready for marriage and we have a lot of romance. You are the star of my life, but what am I marrying into? Am I marrying into happiness? Am I marrying into a family who's going to keep asking me for money? Like it feels like somebody has a really big decision to make here. Yeah, we do have the lovers and then we have the courthouse. So this person, one of these people, um, this person could be in poverty, the main female, because of a divorce. It could be that. Am I going to have to deal with that? So it feels like this queen is not scared to look at anything face on. I, I just need to have a really honest and truthful conversation with you. Do we have too many fundamental differences? I'm going to hold back for a moment. I'm not going to propose, propose marriage right away. We need to make decisions to talk about things in a very sort of high level wisdom kind of energy and it feels like here with the six of swords and the death card are you separate from the family like it almost feels like somebody's worrying that that i'm going to have to shell out a bunch of money for your family because they live in poverty or that they are impoverished maybe they live in a different country um am i going to be the one who's going to be footing the bill for your family These two people could come from very different economic backgrounds. They could come from very different um, different heritages, right? Different parts of the of the world, possibly. Bottom of the deck is the Knight of Swords. We have to have a quick conversation because I feel like there's a lot of um, one one person is really beautiful, right? It's, it kind of says this, so one person is really beautiful, takes care of themselves, that's the main female, and one person is very grounded and stable and sturdy and confident, that I feel is the, is the masculine. And it feels like the masculine has some worries that I'm not really sure what to think. Um, am I gonna end up going broke supporting your family? That's what it feels like here. Chariot, we need to make a quick decision, but we're gonna have to have a really honest, honest and aggressive conversation about what's going on here. I'm just gonna leave that right there. Thank you so much, Virgo, for coming here and watching. I do appreciate you. I'm gonna be back because I'm always back. Hope that resonated with somebody. I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna go for now. Love you guys. Take care, bye-bye.